Happy New Year, everybody. It's time for another 10 of the best online science videos. So sit back, relax, and let's go. Kicking off at number 10 this month, this Australian solar racing team recently set a new speed record for a car powered entirely by the sun. The SunSwift Ivy weighs a fraction as much as a typical car and runs on the same amount of power as a toaster. In speed tests, the car topped out at 88 kilometers per hour, beating the official record by nearly 10 kilometers per hour. It's now the fastest solar vehicle on the planet. At number nine, this male butterfly doesn't need a fast car to attract mates. The bright spots on his wings and his irresistible dance moves are usually enough. But there's a twist. Sometimes the females do the courting, sporting bright spots on their wings and doing the sexy dance. It all depends on when the butterflies were born. If the larvae grow up in a warm, wet season, the males will get the spots and do the dancing. If they mature in the cooler, dry season, it will be the females. Scientists think this arrangement benefits the females and allows them to have more mates in the dry season. At number eight, controlling robots is notoriously difficult, but for this one, it's as simple as waving your hands. Microsoft's Kinect game controller uses special cameras to recognize how a human body moves. It's meant to be used for video games, but here it's been hacked to control a small humanoid robot. The system recognizes a person's gestures and translates them into commands for the robot. It's not perfect, but it does show how robots could be controlled in the future. Next up, here's a thread that puts a high-tech spin on an ancient concept. This film is made of a very thin layer of carbon nanotubes, tiny molecular cages made of pure carbon. Scientists recently found that the film could be spun like wool into a high-tech yarn. By dusting it with powdered nanoparticles, the thread can be given special electrical properties. The yarn might one day be woven into textiles and clothes to create wearable electronics and solar panels. Speaking of carbon nanotubes, our next video resolves a mystery of sorts. When carbon nanotubes are made, they come out in random lengths. Some scientists thought that high temperatures during formation caused them to tear, but no one knew for sure. This new simulation shows that it's not the temperature that's responsible, but rather compression. As a tube is squished together, carbon atoms are pushed out, breaking the bonds that hold the tube together. The discovery could help to produce nanomaterials more precisely. Halfway through, here are the top five. Scientists recently found a way to kill cancer cells by surrounding drugs in tiny bubbles. With this disguise, they can sneak past cancer's defenses. Here, the bubbles are stained green, and you can see as they circulate through a tumor. The drug is stained pink and remains hidden until the time is right to kill the cell. The system only affects cancer tissue and leaves healthy cells intact. Approaches like this could lead to more effective cancer treatments. At number four, malaria kills nearly 800,000 people each year in the developing world. It's caused by a blood-borne parasite transmitted by mosquitoes. Here you can see a computer model of how the parasite affects the cell. Scientists recently found that blood cells infected with malaria can be 50 times stiffer than normal cells. The stiff cells can block capillaries, causing the heart to work harder to circulate blood. Understanding how the parasite affects blood cells could lead to better methods of treatment and prevention. At number three, here's a time-lapse reconstruction of one of the earliest dinosaurs. Aodromaeus was a small predator that lived around 230 million years ago, before dinosaurs completely overran the Earth. Almost all of its bones have been discovered, making it possible to reconstruct the creature's appearance. Scientists now think that Aodromaeus might have been the ancestor of more famous predators like Velociraptors and Tyrannosaurs. At number two, planets around other stars are so far away, it's impossible to tell what they look like with current technology. But with artist impressions like these, scientists can get an idea. Most are larger than Jupiter and orbit closer to their stars than Earth. Others are more exotic, like these planets orbiting a pulsar, the collapsed remnant of a supernova. And speaking of exoplanets, NASA scientists recently announced that they discovered the first confirmed rocky exoplanet. It orbits its star at 1 20th the distance of Mercury from our Sun, making its surface as hot as molten rock, too hot to sustain an atmosphere. Well, if artistic impressions don't quite do it for you, perhaps you'd like the real thing? This month's number one video shows a nice, relaxing sunset on Mars. Scientists recently stitched together images taken by NASA's Opportunity rover into a time-lapse movie. As you can see, the thin, dust-filled atmosphere on Mars makes for a blue sunset. The Opportunity and Spirit rovers landed on Mars in 2003. Spirit stopped communicating in March of 2010, hibernating during the long Martian winter. But Opportunity continues to send back data and images of the Martian surface. Like this one, where you can see Mars's moon Phobos as it passes in front of the sun. And that's it. We'll see you next month.
We always appreciate your comments. You can get in touch through Twitter or YouTube or leave a comment on our New Scientist TV blog. For New Scientist TV in San Francisco, I'm McGregor Campbell. Thanks for watching.